say I have right now GTA 20. Okay, oh. it's not out yet. It'll come out in many years. It's the most amazing, immersive GTA game ever. I'm going to lend it to you, but in seven days, I want it back. Okay. Now, you're going to have that game. You're going to go home. You're probably going to play, right? Are you going to be excited to play that game? Yeah. yeah? 20 years from the future. You're like, oh, you're going to put it on, and now you're in GTA. Most likely, you have seven days. You're going to go explore. You're going to try everything, right? It's this crazy new world. You're like, what happens over there and there? Let me explore. See the mountains. Whoa. And then you return it. And when you give it back, I'm like, cool, did you enjoy it? What did you do with the game? You're like, I explored. Think of life that way. Here is life. You come into life, you have your body, that's the vehicle, here's the ride. Eventually, you're going to have to give the game back, the game of life. What are you going to tell the person when you give it back? They're like, so, did you enjoy life? What did you do? Well, I kind of coped through it the entire time. <laughs> oh, that's like saying, so what do you do at GTA? Well, I just kind of stood still the whole time, and I didn't really explore because it was a little scary, and yeah. Or people who compromise their happiness or their purpose. It's like, well, I wanted to pursue this and explore, but you know, I, I just played the, the taxi cab thing where I would just collect cash the whole time. And, and I had a lot of cash at the end. Did you have fun? Did you do what you love? No, but I collected a lot of cash with the taxi missions. Ugh. Treat life that way. Here you have life. You're in the game. It started. How are you going to play this game so that when you have to give it back, you're like, that was awesome? Or are you just going to hold it back and cope and play it in this very sheltered way or just run in a building and just hide in the building in GTA, which is unfortunately what most people do in life, you know? And you don't get a warning. Keep that in mind. Well, you do when you're born. We think that we will know when our time is near. That's not true. You know your warning? You're born. Everyone here is born. You're going to die. That's your warning. You know, people are, this too, I find it crazy. Like when people find out like, man, what would change if, you know, I found out that suddenly I had a disease that was going to kill me. You know, I'd finally do this, this, this. I'm like, how do you not realize you have a disease right now? You all have a disease. You know what it is? Called being alive. No one escapes. None of us get out of here alive. You all die. And this disease, it'll kill you 100% of the time. And it could kill you today. It could kill you next week, it could kill you in 50 years, but it is going to kill you. We have, we have clients that die yeah. because we work with so many people. Yeah. Friends. Friends. Yeah. Start opening your eyes to death. Not in this like sad where you're like, oh, so on and so forth, but like align yourself with reality. Yeah, I promise most of you are very disassociated from your eventual death. Mass majority of you, not real to you at all. And it's not necessarily in this like sad, gloomy way either. It's just more so live a life that's congruent to reality, not fantasy. In we fact, live, the, the awareness yeah. of death is actually the main thing that should make you happy. Yeah. In reality, it's also that scarcity that allows you to take in the experience that is life more deeply. You know, say you had all the time in the world, it'd be like, you're going to live forever and ever. Ugh. It's the scarcity where you're like, let me enjoy this. Like, say right now, I'm like, you are going to die in one minute. You're probably going to be like air, what it feels like to breathe, what it feels like, oh, like you immerse yourself, like the experience of this life is much more intense because of that scarcity. So it's not so much that scarcity is bad, it allows you to really take in what life is, but don't be blind to it. 